Hello friends, uh, today's session is on basics of arc welding. In this, we are going to understand the different joining processes which are available. Then under fusion welding, there are also options available, varieties of processes are there. Under that, the significance of arc welding, process principle of electric arc welding, most important component of electric arc welding is welding electrodes. Again, the types of welding electrodes, then basic arc welding equipment requirement and then the safety precautions to be taken during welding process execution. If we see the joining processes which are available to us, there are again uh, mechanical fasteners through that non-permanent and permanent joining is possible. Adhesives are nowadays very commonly deployed, but welding which gives me a very quality weld, quality joining, in that today's our focus is on fusion welding. And in fusion welding, the important aspect is there are three options available to me. One is gas welding, another one is electric arc welding and the third type of process is electric resistance welding. Earlier we discussed oxyacetylene that is nothing but gas welding in detail. Today's our focus is on understanding the basic aspects of electric arc welding and there are electric arc welding is again uh, categorized based upon type of electrode which are used in welding. One is consumable electrode which uses some processes they use based upon that there are different types of electric arc welding processes are available and the second category is processes which deploy non-consumable example is TIG welding or plasma welding. Now, under this fusion welding, you know, fusion welding is nothing but uh, the heat is used to carry out localized melting and this is generated through the electric arc between the base metal. And this process, if you see the process versatility is such, depending upon the absolute number of welds made, the fusion welding in, in that arc welding is the most popular process which gives a quality weld. The weld scenario is shown there in the schematic diagram. The base metal and then electrode and there is a gap between base metal and electrode. The crater generated there because of the plasma ionization process, electric discharge between the base metal and the electrode and that localized heating results in the melting of that and the filler metal, a coated electrode which supplies the filler metal to the weld zone and coating provides a support or covering to that weld zone environment which avoids atmospheric contamination. So, it electric arc welding which mostly relies on formation of an arc between the electrode and the base metal. And this electric arc is formed when the electrode is scratched against that base metal at the point where the weld is needed and that causes electric discharge between two metal objects which are not in contact with one another. And that results in ionization of that gap between the electrode and base metal that creates a plasma and which causes local heating of a base metal. So, this is the process principle of electric arc welding and this one diagram illustrates the all types of welding joints that you can produce with the help of this electric arc welding. This it shows a lap weld, then again butt weld joint, double butt weld joint, flat weld, then horizontal weld, vertical weld, overhead weld, slit weld, plug weld, all these types of different weldings, weld positions or edge preparations can be successfully performed and that too 
as per the strength requirement and the quality requirement with the help of electric arc welding. So, this is the best process capability of electric arc welding. Another very important component of electric arc welding is the electrodes which are used in this process. So, there are two categories in this as earlier mentioned. One is non-consumable electrode and another one is consumable electrode. Now, the composition of the electrode is another one parameter which uh, it depends upon the base metal that you are welding because the end result of the welding process is the welded joint should be as strong as the base metal. This is our requirement. That is why the composition of the electrode, core wire electrode is should be same as the base metal. Another parameter is size of electrode. It depends upon amount of weld metal to be deposited and the gap between the two plates to be welded. So, the non-consumable electrodes are those electrodes which are, which do not consumed during the welding process. So, obviously, to fill the joint, a separate filler material is required. Now, these non-consumable electrodes, they are made up of a high melting point material. For example, carbon electrodes or graphite electrode, Another most popular uh, type of electrode, non-consumable electrode is pure tungsten electrode. Now, these non-consumable electrodes are again, uh, they give a, why they are used is, they give a good control over the process. Now, most important aspects of these, no doubt, uh, these are slightly expensive, but we can weld different types of a special class of a material with the help of this uh, non-consumable electrode and this, these non-consumable electrodes, they offer me a special you know advantage that is it increases the emissivity, resistance to weld contamination, weld uh, you know atmospheric contamination, resistance to that. It gives me excellent control over the arc resulting in good arc stability and then the weld electrode consumption is also very less. Whereas, the other category is the consumable electrode. No doubt, compared to a non-consumable one, if we see the thermal efficiency, the thermal efficiency of consumable electrode is very good. Then another is, uh, we can use it normally for all types of commercial application. There are again uh, electrodes uh, available for all types of material fabrication. Mainly these consumable electrodes are categorized in three. One is bare electrodes and coated electrodes. Bare electrode means uh, there won't be any coating of flux on electrode. Why coating of a flux is that controls the weld zone. Here belt, bare electrode means the composition of electrode is same as the base metal. The problem with this electrode is it has a irregular metal transfer and atmospheric contamination is highly likely and therefore, whenever a electrode, elect, weld joint, a good strength of a weld joint is required, their bare electrode is not that, you know, useful. And the option available is coated electrode. Coating is given. And that flux coating, when it melts, it covers the weld zone, it avoids atmospheric contamination and it controls that weld process. That is why the flux coating is also required and the base, uh, the core wire of a electrode, it supplies the base material to the weld joint. There are three types of coated electrodes. One is lightly coated electrodes in which thin coating of a flux is given. Then medium coated electrode, medium co coating of a flux is given and then heavily coated electrodes where thick coating of a flux is given. Obviously, depending upon my welding requirement, uh, thick section, medium section or thin section, you can select a welding electrode. Here it is the electrode which are electrodes which are commercially available, they are shown here. And then it is now a quiz time to clear our fundamental aspects. Uh, our aim is to understand the basics of 
arc welding. The first question is in which welding process is the electrode consumed during the welding? Four options are given there. First A is stick welding, B is stick welding, S T I C K, C is M I G welding, MIG welding, and D is oxyacetylene welding. Here the answer is B because stick welding, the other name is popular name is shielded metal arc welding. Shield is provided by the coating which is available on electrode. The second question is which welding process is commonly used for large and heavy structures like bridges and four options are given. A is TIG welding, B is stick welding, C is MIG welding and fourth one is oxyacetylene welding. Answer to this is B, stick welding again shielded metal arc welding. Now, next question is what is the purpose of filler material welding? This is a very uh, important question because the filling of a joint is our major objective and that is served through the purpose of the welding electrode. So, here the four options are given to provide heat for work welding process, to protect the weld from atmospheric contamination, to join the base materials together and to remove impurities from the welding, welding equipment. Now, here answer is C, that is correct answer is to join the base materials together. This is the basic objective of welding. The next question is which welding process uses a non-consumable tungsten electrode and a shielding gas? So, we saw the uh, categorization of welding electrode, consumable electrode and non-consumable. Here this question asks about the application of non-consumable electrode. Four options are there, MIG welding, stick welding, TIG welding and oxyacetylene welding. The answer, correct answer is TIG welding, nothing but tungsten inert gas welding. So, this clears our basic aspects of electric arc welding. Equipments are required. Uh, one most important one is power source, the transformers, single phase, three phase, based upon again our requirement. Then all cables must be well insulated to prevent shock. And after, uh, you know, the uh, arc welder machines must be properly connected to a power source with a uh, you know, well, so uh, most important part of this uh, process is electrode that we deployed there. The different electrode size standardization is there in this electrode. As earlier, we saw thin coating, thick coating, medium coating, and then also the uh, the length of that electrode, the flux type of a flux coating, etc. Here the weld zone environment is after welding, uh, the environment is shown here. So, if you carry out a finishing process there, the weld is as strong as the base metal. Now, common electrode sizes are available. As I said, there is a standardization. So, we must select a proper electrode for our process and these electrodes are selected based upon the kind of material that we are using. The size is nothing but the diameter uh, of the wire inside the flux and larger electrodes are used for a thick sections. Here it is, there is a coding, electrode coding is there and the electrodes normally these are identified by a code number and the code number is given uh, there on the, uh, which is stamped on the flux near the uh, bare uh, end of that Y. So, the codes gives us about, it gives us a uh, lot of information that is composition of the electrode, the strength of the weld that will be uh, produced and the position for which the electrode is equipment. Even the strength testing of a welded joint after completion of the weld is recommended and uh, the best selection of the electrode assures that particular quality strength of that welded joint. Most important aspect of fusion welding rather in all three types of processes 
and especially in particular arc welding processes conformance to safety measures is a must otherwise the injuries is going to be uh, a reality always wear a properly adjusted helmet with an approved lens in good conditions there are again uh, standard lenses are available never look at an arc without uh, eye protection its eye protection is mandatory then warn others around you that you are about to weld and they need to cover their eyes goggles are provided and again the wear uh, leather gloves long sleeved clothing protective shoes and most important thing is never weld in water or moist areas with arc equipment make sure that there is a good ventilation starting process a simple sop for carrying out arc welding is cleaning of that base metal good age preparation then clamp these metals and then select the correct electrode adjust the machine for that work machine settings there and put the electrode in electrode holder use the ground clamp clamp it to your metal and then turn the machine on and then pull your helmet down and then start the striking of an arc once uh, the arc is you know uh, struck then the electrode is taken a bit away from that base metal and that particular gap ionizes that zone plasma is formed it provides sufficient heat to the weld zone it melts those edges then the coating provided there on the electrode flux melts first it provides a, a slack coating and then the base wire provides a, the required composition to that joint and I maintain that arc for some time and then definitely we will get the strong welded joint so far we covered what is fusion welding the process principle then we also covered the type of electrodes which we use uh, consumable non consumable in consumable the different types of coatings which are provided safety precaution which is a mandatory thing uh, of a arc welding process and next in next session we are going to understand based upon this the different types of arc welding processes in this session we address the basic aspects of a arc welding process. Thank you all.